Hi, I'm Rob from Hobzine. Thanks for joining me for another video beer review. This time we've got another mystery beer. And this is the first of uh, six mystery beers graciously sent over to me from the godfather of mystery beers, Matt, over at Massive Beer Reviews, as you can see on there. If you've not watched him on YouTube so far, what's wrong with you? Why did you find my channel first? <laughs> but yes, huge thanks to Matt for sending me some uh, mystery beers over to check out. Really excited to be getting back into the mystery beers. I haven't had any in quite a while. So, what's going to be in this? So let's get it open into glass. Let's start. See how, see how craptastic <laughs> this is going to be. Oh, I got a whiff of something quite nice then, just then. <laughs> No idea what these are. As you, if you've not watched it, Mr. Beers before, people graciously um, send you beers, or um, a lot of us UK guys, we swap Mr. Beers, and um, you, you drink it, smell it, blah blah blah, trying to figure out what what kind of beer it is, and if you want, have a stab what beer it actually might be. It might be quite difficult for me. I don't know what Matt can get in kind of like in the kind of um, New Jersey kind of. No, it's in Pennsylvania now, isn't it? Um, so anyway, beer in the glass. It works in Scranton, which is massively entertaining to me. <laughs> um, anyway, beer in the glass, very hazy, kind of... It's edging towards, it's got a dishwater kind of quality to it. You I mean, it's that kind of golden dishwater. Pure white, slick of... Mm. As I swilled it around, I got some of what made me think there's quite a lot of oats in that. Try not to sniff it. But a nice white film on top. Just give it a swirl sniff, check out the aroma. Quite excited. Hello, hello. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, <laughs> I think I made a good choice for my first one. Hey, it's 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 really, really, really good smelling New England style IPA. <sighs> That's amazing. That's beautiful. Yeah, grapefruit. Great food, but with a with lovely kind of custard-like soft sweetness. White grape, pineapple, slightly under-ripened pineapple, a little bit of melon, lime juice. Smells good. Smells good. Let's dive in. Cheers, Matt. Thanks for sending these. Okay. I'd say a lower ABV. I mean, I get a, a um, more kind of cantaloupe, cantaloupe melon and white grape. A little bit of... I'm going to take a stab at kind of like a Marisota type malt. The aroma's a lot more punchy as far as the hops go. And it has that kind of cream soda edge, which I quite like. Yeah, it's got that kind of like a tang, kind of noble hops, but I don't think it is. I think it's somewhat hopped with maybe not uber kind of trendy hops. I think it might be a combo of kind of something like Mosaic and Centennial or Cascade or something like that. But I, I'm going to go Session IPA or um, Pale Ale. So it's got a, it's got a, it, because it's relatively kind of soft and watery and quenching. A bit. When I was sloshing it around, it looked like it looked a bit more viscous than it is. It's nicer. Kind of grassy as well. So, I think it's Photon from... I mean, is that, would that be too, too predictable when amounts local breweries equilibrium? I don't think it's Photon, I think it's a much nicer beer than that. Um, I'm going to say, style-wise, I'm going to say Session IPA. At a push, Pale Ale, but I think, I'm think i thinking Session IPA. It's a 440 can, it could be anybody. Matt's in that kind of Pennsylvania, New Jersey kind of area. Um... So, he could get all sorts of stuff. I know Equilibrium's nearby. I know he's got. He can get hold of some of that good shit, all that kind of trillium 
loveliness. Another half and stuff like that. I don't think it's other half. Hmm. I'm going to go Session IPA. And as a little PS, a little added extra, I'm going to say, I'm going to say it might be Trillium. Let's find out. So, where's the start of the take? Here we go, here we go. So, Matt's an expert at wrapping the mystery beer, so he knows what the, what the shit's going on. I don't think it's Trillium, because I can, I can see the top of the can. I mean, Matt, Matt's entertained by the fact that I kind of don't like to kind of like see what it is as I'm opening it. Nice, nice. No, just, it's like when you open a birthday present. Um, and you open it at the back. <laughs> you kind of see what it is before you see the, like, uh, see the front cover of the, of the book or the record or something. So, let's get this ripped down. Oh, okay. Okay. Oh, well, okay. Sigmeister. Brewing Company, I've never heard of them. It is their Falconer DDH Citra Pale Ales. Pale Ale, I was there around that mark. I think I, I think I, I did pretty fucking bad on the hops. I wouldn't say Citra. Um, what can I be? Uh, so what is it then? 4.9% ABV. Um, yeah, as I said, kind of, I was saying that Session IPA. I thought it was a combination of kind of old school and new school hops. Don't know what other hops are in this, but I mean, and I said mosaic. I mean, come on, kind of in that neighborhood. I was never going to get the brewery, not in the fucking month, some days. Okay, all oh, right, this must be relatively um, close to Matt because it's uh, Hackstown, Hackstown, New Jersey. Sig, Sigmeister, never heard of it. I'll, I'm gonna, obviously, I'll. After this, I'll go and check, see if um, Matt has um, posted anything or posted a review of this beer. 4.9% ABV. Yeah, when I first kind of smell it, I get that, that kind of cream soda edge. And that kind of made me start thinking either, primarily I started th thinking of Thinback, actually. I sloshed it around and I was like, oh, that looks like a trillion beer. Maybe I'm just going, oh, I'm just going to fucking trillion. <laughs> but it's really tasty. Yeah, okay. Maybe I do get that citra now. Maybe that's what I was searching for. Because it wasn't as, as, as um, notable as something like Mosaic or Simcoe. But that's tasty stuff. Thank you very much. So that's the first of the mystery beers from Matt over at Massive Beer Reviews. And it was a can of Zigmeister Falconer DDH Citra Pale Ale from New Jersey. Big thanks to Matt for sending me this beer over to try. I'm Rob from Hop Scene. I'll see you next time. Cheers.